Addiction is a major issue in our communities. There's a shortage of treatment beds, and there also aren't enough sober recovery houses for people to go after treatment to get their lives back on track. And as Tess Van Stratton shows us in this week's Vital People, those homes, like the three Recovery Victoria runs, are vital to long-term success. I mean, how can you not wake up in the morning and take a look at that and go, today's going to be a good day? It's a therapeutic view, and Peter Berry knows firsthand how important a calm and safe environment is for people in addiction recovery. There's perhaps a, a misunderstanding that, you know, you go to treatment and all of a sudden you're cured or you're better, and that's not the, that's not the reality of it. Peter struggled with addiction for 25 years, using drugs and alcohol as a coping mechanism. I owned a home here. I had a, a good job. I had everything going for me, but on the inside, I mean, uh... I struggled with a lot of pain that went all the way back to my childhood. But despite the toll substance abuse was taking, Peter couldn't stop. I knew that I was dying, um, but I don't think I really cared. I mean, at one point I told, my doctor told me I had maybe three months left to live using the substances that I was using, and, and I kept going. When he finally reached out for help, Peter realized recovery would be a long process, and he'd need support. As great as treatment is, it's such a short time frame. I mean, I spent 25 years in addiction. I'm not going to fix myself in 30, 60, 90 days. It takes years to, to get better. Peter now manages this Fairfield House for Recovery Victoria, part of Together We Can, which has three sober living homes in Victoria, including a women's house. Being in treatment is a bubble, right? So coming back to a place where you can kind of chill, you don't have to worry about going to get food, you don't have to worry about paying bills, you just need to worry about getting stable again. Trevor was a cocaine addict. He started working in outreach after getting sober and convinced Together We Can to open its first house in Victoria 10 years ago. Everybody gets tested once a week in our houses and we do have a zero tolerance policy. But even more important than that, they come back and they, um, if they've had a particularly tough day, they can talk to other guys in the house about it. Some of the guys that come in here are, you know, they come from, from such a place of sadness and pain. Um, to see them grow and change, it's amazing. Peter's transformation is also due to his time at a Recovery Victoria house seven years ago, and he says it saved his life. Somebody was there for me when I needed the help, and to a large degree, I, I feel a debt of gratitude. Without treatment, without recovery, I wouldn't be here. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.